So now we're going to go and make a crab. Now this is a lot of fun to go and make, and what you need is you need almost a diamond shape. This is going to be for the body. So we're going to go and take our clay, we're going to wet it a little bit, and we're going to go and sculpt it into this diamond shape after it's rolled out. Now that we have this diamond shape, we want to make sure that the ends are pointy and that the body is just slightly flat. We don't want it to be too flat though, we want the top to be pretty flat, but have a small curve for the bottom. Now let's go and make some eyes. We're going to take these little tiny pieces of clay, get them wet, and then stick them down. It should pretty much be a little tiny stick with a very small circle on the end. Now we're going to take our metal sculpting tool, just put a little line to go and indicate where the shell is, go around with a half circle for where the eyes are, and after we have that down, put a small indent for the bottom, and just go and flatten that out. Now let's go and make some claws. So we're going to need just a small piece here. It should be semi-rounded at the end. We're going to take this other piece here, and we're going to go and sculpt it into the claw. You're going to want two little points, one larger, one a little bit smaller, and it should be round at the end. Now I made this just big enough, so what I can do is I can take this and split it in half. So let's split this in half, and now you have both of the claws. After this is split, we're going to go and put it onto the body of the crab. Just like you did for the eyes, if you need to get the end wet, do so, but we're going to stick that down. And let's stick down the other one now, and we're going to use the body to go and support these arms. Now let's make some little legs. These are going to be rounded at the middle area and then pointed at the end. So let's go and roll all of these out. Now we're going to go and just stick these to our little crab. And it's the same exact thing that you did for the eyes along with also the little arms. If you need to wet them, definitely do so. You want to make sure that these stick very well. Now let's let this dry. Now that our crab is dry, which it did take just about 4 to 5 hours for it to fully dry, but I waited for it to dry for 24 hours, now we can go and paint it. I decided that I wanted to go along the lines of almost a blue crab, so I'm painting the shell blue, and then I'm going to go and paint the bottom portion of it, almost like a flush tone mixed with a small amount of yellow. Now let's add some eyes, so I'm just putting these right at the sides, and at this point, after everything has dried, you can go and seal it if you would like to. Now let's give him a pen, pencil, or paintbrush, and here is what our little crab looks like. This is definitely my favorite one to go and make for pencil holders, and they're just so incredibly fun. Thank you all so much for watching. You can find more tutorials over on my profile.